<laughs> Hi everyone, my name's Joe Barnard. Welcome to the stream. Um, real quick, what I'm gonna do is just check my audio levels to make sure I sound okay. So one second, bear with me here. Second, bear with me here. Excellent, it sounds great. How is everyone? We have 21 people here today. Thank you all for joining. Actually, what I realized I need to do is tweet out this link to tell people that we are live. So one second while I do that, because I'm really good at preparing and I forgot to tweet this out. Here we go, on Twitter, live now. And tweet, excellent. Okay, so welcome everyone. The intro video was, as always, I mean, I think this, we're gonna run out of videos pretty soon here. It was a video that's on this channel called RIP Printer and it's the death of my Flash Forge, um, what is it, Flash Forge Maker or something? Um, but it's an old printer that I had. It's the one that I got at the beginning of the BPS program, and it died around this time last spring. Um, so <laughs> I just made a video about it. There are no printers that have died recently, so there's no nothing to worry about there. I just feel like we should start these streams with some kind of funny video. Anyway, let me look at the chat here. We've got Nathan, we've got Thomas, Quinn, Hello Quinn, Zach, Waltz Tomorrowland, Jared Bass, uh, Kimball Goss, we have Braden, Eric, WH Colors 999, that's a nice name. Um, <laughs> who else? Let's find some other people. I see Braden again. I think Moonman might be in here somewhere. Parker with the lobster. We've got the whole crew. Uh, Teddy B. <laughs> all right, <clears throat> so we're all here. And I think today I'd like to do a single stage to orbit, uh, otherwise known as an S. S T O. Um, and I've never done one of these before in Kerbal Space Program. I've heard people say that they can do it. Um, so I feel like we should just try to do it. If I'm going to call myself a rocketeer, I have to be able to build things in KSP. Um, also, hi, Aiden. Aiden Owens. We've got Quinn again. Solomon. Simon Lopez. Um, thank you all for joining. Thanks for spending your Sunday night with me. Tonight, we have a little bit of wine with the Kerbal Space Program, this is kind of tradition that there's some alcohol involved. So I have actually what is a massive glass of wine. This is definitely like a solid glass and a half. But um, anyway, that's what we're working with tonight. And I feel like we should probably get started. So let me transition over to the Kerbal Space Program scene. Um, I redid my OBS stuff, the, uh, what is it called? Open Broadcast Studio, um, just to make sure that everything would be clean because I think last time, if any of you remember, we actually had the OBS um, like failed in the middle of the stream. So I wanted to make sure that it wasn't gonna happen again today. And uh, yeah, that's kind of where we're at. So we've got Kerbal Space Program open. Um, let me just read some more names here. Anders, uh, there's Simon Lopez again, Cool Duck. <laughs> Noah, WH Colors, Don't Drink and Fly, Where's the Whiskey? I don't have whiskey. I just have wine tonight. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry to disappoint. Um, SSTOs are difficult. There's a ton of tweaking involved to make a good one. You know what, Braden? I don't doubt it, but I feel like I gotta try it anyway, right? So that's my that's my vibe with it right now, at least. Let me just move a couple of windows around here uh, to make sure that I can see all the info I need to. Oh, wow, we're up to 40 people. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining. Um, here we go. All right. Will, uh, Stinch, Stinchcomb is with us. Can you make a starship? It's a fun project that seems to take a different approach at KSP. Will, maybe later on, um, we have to start with the SSTO because that's what I put in the title. So I'm, I'm kind of committed. <laughs> uh, subscribe to PewDiePie, a boring fan. All right, let's get started. Start game. And we're just going to use the same... Um, saved thing that we've done so far, which is the Joey B space program with four flights in progress. Um, <laughs> and last time, I think, didn't we get Jeb home from uh, Minmus, I think? I believe that's what we did. Okay, so don't get tied down to it, says Thomas. That's a good idea. We don't necessarily have to do the single stage to orbit, but I want to give it a shot. So how do I start with this, everyone? I, I'm gonna need a lot of advice for this. Hi, Misty O. This is the exact. This is exactly the way I was looking to spend my Sunday night. Me too, TBH. All right, Joe missed my meme. 
What's the meme? Was it the crab? <laughs> that looks like some good grape juice. All right. I think if we're going to do an SSTO, not in the VAB, really. Most people use the rocket plane things. Uh-oh. I'm already out of my comfort zone because I always work in the VAB. This is going to be trouble. <laughs> I'm going to need a lot of help from the chat on this one. Um, that is going to be necessary because I've never worked out of this, of, of the uh, space plane hangar before. <laughs> All right. So um, how do I start? What do, what does everyone recommend with here? I would like to have, I don't, I only need one pilot. I don't need a whole lot of people here. Um, maybe just try making a plane first, says Nathan. That might be a good idea. Um, build a jet and add oxidizer. Okay, let's do a cockpit. That's a good idea. Let's just do a tiny little cockpit at the front. Oh, this is not too bad. I can do this. We need probably just a little nose, right, at the front too. I'm guessing, I am guessing all the way through this, so I will need some help here, everyone. Um, you know, I probably should have thought a little bit more about this before we get started, but here we are. Does anyone have recommendations for nose caps? Um, Mark one pit with SRBs. Really? You want to do SRBs for an SSTO? Will that work? <clears throat> I don't think they burn long enough. Uh, yeah, I'm unsure about that. Joe can learn quick. Thanks for, thanks for the confidence, Solomon. General Aerospace says, hello from the capital of Australia. Wow. Hello, General Aerospace. What's it like in the upside down? That joke is overplayed. You should have an intake on the front. Put an intake nose. Okay, wow, everyone wants the intake. Great, circular intake. Let's try that. Is that for real gonna work? Is it gonna go through the cockpit somehow? Hmm. <laughs> uh, okay, we probably also want a jet engine and we definitely need some fuel, so why don't we start adding some fuel tanks here? Um, right? <laughs> I should have thought more about this before I clicked start stream. That's the name of this song. Oh, wow. There you go. That's not so bad. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, it just works. Uh, no, Will, I have not seen season three of Stranger Things. Um, I really want to. I saw that it was out last night, and I just, like, I forgot that it came out recently, so I have to do it. Um, don't question the <laughs> internal mechanics. It just works. You don't need an intake because you're not using air-breathing engines. Well, we don't know that yet. I might use air-breathing engines. Oh. Okay. <laughs> SSTO sounds like ARCA propaganda to me. Hi, Trista! Thanks for joining, Noah. Okay, um, hi Sean, by the way, too. So let's just start with the plane because I need to get familiar. We don't have to do anything fancy, but I, I just want to start with the plane because I don't know planes that well. Does that fit? This fits perfectly. We're just gonna add two fuel tanks, a jet at the end, and we're gonna try, okay, we're also gonna turn on. Um, wait, these are the tools. I wanna visualize things. The CG, okay. Uh, all right, we're just gonna build a plane so I can fly it a bit. It's gonna be a slow approach. So why don't we try a little turbo jet? Oh my God, that's way too small. Why don't we try a little turbo fan at the back? This might not be long enough, I am worried. Why don't we do another fuel tank? <laughs> oh boy. Wrong tank, that's a tank for rockets. Uh-oh, no oxidizer needed. Okay, apparently this is a tank for rockets. I'm sorry, everyone. Where should I look for the proper tanks? Um, what does the little droplet mean at the bottom right? 
And where should I look for the proper tanks? Maybe this? Um, no oxidizer. Drain or drain the oxidizer. That could work too. Should I just drain the oxidizer then? Oh, the droplet is textures. Okay, cool. Um, mark one is liquid fuel. Droplet is colors. Make sure it's mark one. Okay, who, who's... <laughs> Apparently I was I was doing fine before. So who be saying who be saying the slander in the chat? I'm using these. And what I can do is I can just drain the oxidizer because I don't need it because I'm building a plane, right? Right. There's no one who can <laughs> t tell me I'm wrong because uh I can't hear anyone else cuz I am alone. Um all right. We got the turbo fan at the back. Right now this does not look like a very good airplane. So we need some wings on here. And once again, this is not the SSTO. This is just, um, this is just the beginnings of Joey B learning how to fly planes in KSP. With wine. It's actually sangria. It's sangria blanco. Um, <clears throat> okay. What are we thinking about the wings here? How do you do wings? Maybe this guy? How can I figure out? Ah. <laughs> the nose is ugly. More vodka. Um, mirror symmetry. Yep, I can use symmetry. But these wings don't feel large enough. I want big, beefy wings. Like that. And right around the center of mass, too. And the center mass is going to move back. Snap to grid. Ooh, yes. There we go. Let's just try that. I'm unsure if it will work. Um, we probably need some landing gear, too. We're just going to kind of build this as we go. And we need some... Why don't we do a vertical stabilizer at the back? Ooh, we could do like a like a V-tail uh, a bonanza. One of those. Let's do that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> do I even have control surfaces on this? Unclear. <laughs> the answer is unclear. <laughs> I need control surfaces. Let's let's make sure that the the vertical stabilizers are also control surfaces. A standard canard. That will be the back control surfaces. Um, and we need some landing gear, so let's do that. Small landing gear. We probably don't need large landing gear. How do we put it on the bottom? Can we not put it on the wing? Well, great. We'll do that. On the back, Steerable landing gear in the front. This is a disaster. My dad was a pilot for a while, and I'm not sure he'd be proud, TBH. Okay. <laughs> How are we looking, everyone? Kind of looks like a UAV so far. Show your center of lift. That is a great idea. Aerodynamic overlay. So this is the center of lift right there. The center of lift is currently behind the center of mass, which we want, right? Do we not want that? Let me think about this. It's the same as a rocket. Your center of pressure, it's going to be fine. Push those wings forward. OK. You really think so? Should the center of lift be at the center of mass? But we're going to burn fuel. Oh. Lift is just behind the mass. Yeah, this is perfect. This is fine. Oh, this is going to be great. See, you can reduce the drag by only having one fin. I don't know why people think they need two. <laughs> don't listen. Don't listen to me. That's not correct. That is how you say incorrect. Okay. So what am I missing here? Am I missing anything? Who's our pilot? Jeb Kerman. Excellent. He's a good pilot. 
I believe in Jeb. One Wing Best Wing. Signs with Joe 2019. Um, <clears throat> what else? Control surfaces. Brayden, Jared, um, Orbit Ahead. Just turn left. Okay, I think control surfaces are right. So is that going to be under aerodynamics? Do I have to put control surfaces on the tip, perhaps? This is a wing. Ooh, it would be cool to do winglets. Hey, hey, wait, that's a, ter a tail fin with a uh, built-in control surface. Okay, no, hold on. This is an airplane main wing. Control surface on the back. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Can I just do it like this? Oops, that's the name. Don't look at this. Great. Save. Perfect. No, it's perfect. Listen. I studied audio production at the Berkeley Sausage of College, and I know an airplane that will fly well when I see one. So we're gonna fly this. I must just click launch. Unclear. <laughs> oh man. Well, let's just take a look here. We can definitely move our control surfaces. They do work. We've got those. We have we have pitch and yaw and we have roll control. We're wobbling on down the runway here. I'm pretty sure, can anyone remind me? I'm like fairly sure the runway doesn't actually have a slope, but it's like a physics issue with gravity and like the curvature of Kerbin that makes you roll down the runway. Um, let's just try this. We'll turn SAS on. I've never flown a plane in uh, KSP before. So, uh, you know, let's just give this a shot. I am unsure if it will work. We're gonna start at zero throttle. It's a pretty cool sound. Oh, it has a, thr a slow throttle. Oh my gosh. Well, well, you know, I didn't know I didn't want those. I didn't want to. <laughs> Can we get an F in the chat, please? Oh, man. Okay. Hold on. Revert to launch. <laughs> perhaps, ladies and gentlemen, perhaps what I can do is just get less aggressive with the steering. Or maybe not use SAS on the runway. Let's just leave SAS on and try it again. Maybe I won't steer at all on the runway. Pull up, pull up. <laughs> he wobbling. No! <laughs> okay. No, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there because we don't give up in the Joey B Space Program. I think we need to turn SAS off. I think let's turn SAS off. This thing is gonna lift off, I'm sure of it. Here we go. And we'll turn SAS on when we're in the air. But I think SAS is trying to correct us for things. Oh, nope, 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 cut. Cut, cut the throttle. <laughs> that didn't, there's nothing to see there. Just so we're all clear about that. Here we are again for the first time on the runway, everyone. Are, are, are we all exciting? Are, <laughs> this is the first time we've been on the runway, right? I just wanted to make sure that we're all on the same page here. I can't wait to take off for the first time and roll down the runway for the first time. I think fixing the landing gear is going to be a requirement. Okay. 
All right. All right. To the space plane hangar we go. Okay. <clears throat> so, we have had an anomaly. Can I please put these on the wings? How do I put these on the... Okay, W-A-S-D. Oh, there it is. That's it. Here we go. This is what I wanted all along. Oh, wait. How... Just go in the right direction, you jerk. Okay, I'm not actually like thinking about this the right way. There it is. I did it, because I'm smart and good. All right, here we go. <laughs> Save it. Oh my goodness. Here we go, folks. Are, is everyone excited for us to roll down the runway for the very first time? Because I can't wait. Boy, he be riding a little bit low. Hmm. But he be much more stable than last time. SAS, throttle up. Here we go. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't believe this is the first time this plane is rolling down the runway. It's such a momentous occasion because it, it has never done this before. We're going to let it roll for a long time. Whoa, boy! He be moving. That be for sure. Okay, we've got roll. Okay, gear up. Hey, this is pretty cool. I'm gonna throttle back because we don't need to be going this fast and it is making me worried. Press G, oh, that's probably gear. Okay, so this is like full yaw. Okay, that's a lot of side slips, that's a problem. We need, uh, I'm in like the wrong stability mode. What if I turn SAS off? I am going way too fast. Okay, let's just do that. Ooh. There it is. Nope. Losing altitude there, buddy, Joey B. How about we don't lose so much altitude, pal? There we go. All right, this is working. It's not working well, but it's definitely working. I'm not a great pilot, but I am flying it. Like it is moving. <laughs> Do you think we can land it? Because that seems unlikely to me, but I would kind of like to try. Oh, wow. Okay. So I'm really... I'm wondering if I'm, like, controlling from the wrong mode. Uh... Like, if I need to go to... Ro no, this is, these, are, these are still the same controls. That's the docking mode. And that's just for RCS. No, it's the right mode. They're, they're just a bit tricky to fly then, I guess. Okay, so we're going by there. We're just going too fast, though. I don't think I'm going to try to land on the runway. Uh, turning is easier if you use Q and E and then bank by pitching up. Yeah, I think you're right, uh, Jared. If you just try to yaw the craft, it's like not an effective way to turn it. So we're going to go all the way back by those mountains. We're going to line up a nice turn. <coughs> 
and we're going to properly <laughs> properly try to land this craft. And once we do that, you know, as soon as you fly just once, you're ready to do an SSTO. That's that's what the rule I'm making up right now. And I'm almost out of wine, so it's going really well. I'm giving myself a real wide distance here. Woo! Okay. We also we're, st we're still going too fast. Although I am gonna keep no 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 I'm gonna keep my throttle up because I have to make this turn. Yeah, this is plenty of distance. So we're gonna do one of these. I'm not really gonna try to land on the runway because that's just not the move today. I think I'm gonna go straight here for a little bit. Okay, cool. Yeah, I really gave myself like a lot of, <laughs> like a lot of room to do this thing. Um, okay, let's see if he can land. That's right, Thomas, let's see. <laughs> full send for the runway. I don't know, Sean. Hey, Peter, just go full pitch, man. Those wings don't give that easy. Do you really think so? Is that a bad idea? Okay. Let's, um, I'm, I've ascended quite a bit here to 3,200 meters. It'd be nice to just like hold altitude, but I think it's time. So let's see, let's see how far we can go. Oh, we should do a, a roll. That's kind of fun. Let's do that. Woo! Which way is up? Okay. <laughs> so let's turn and go back home. Wow, the roll is really sensitive. Ooh. Uh, where's the Kerbal Space Center? Oh, it's over there. Okay, cool. Yeah, I left way too much room for myself here. I did not need this much. So should we speed up? Maybe we should speed up because we're kind of far away. Let's start cruising. <laughs> Here we go. Two seventy meters per second. We're gonna, gonna we're gonna cross three hundred. You know the thing they tell you in pilot school, and this is what I know because I went for sure. I went to the Berkeley College of Pilot. Um, you should land as fast as possible. You really want to land super, super, super fast. <laughs> Don't do that. You should not land as fast as possible. Okay, we have to stop. This is not a fun game. This was not a good idea. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try to at least line ourselves up with the runway. Right. Feels like that would be the right thing to do. And to be frank, we're kind of already doing a bit of a braking maneuver by doing this little zigzag. Boy, this is not great. I, I can probably just yaw it out for the rest of the flight. Am I stalling? I feel like I might be close to it. Boy, I might make it. Let's start dropping our speed a little bit more. And we'll do that with the air brakes, which I will declare are actually the landing gear today. You know what? I'm feeling pretty good about this, actually. I am dropping altitude, though. The glide slope is not great. So let's go ahead and bump our... Um, there we go. Uh-oh. See, here's the thing is... 
I'm I'm still going too fast. And that's kind of the thing about it, is that it's maybe not going so well right now. Easy. Oh, ho, 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 ho. we go and swimming. Can I eject? Okay, here we go. It's a bit of a touch and go today, folks. All right, I decide no. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Thus concludes our mission. Thank you for joining. <laughs> okay, great. Revert to the splice, the splice plane, splice plane hangar. Um, no, I'm calling that a successful mission. I chose to bail out of the craft after a successful touch and go, which was also intentional. Okay, so we need to get started on our actual space plane. What has to be different with our space plane? I think these, gone. I think the fins, those are gone. I also think we only need one vertical stabilizer. And that is, uh, I found a plane wing back here somewhere. Or like a vertical stabilizer, tail fin. That's what we're gonna use. So, oh, that's not straight at all. <laughs> so how do we do this? The rapier engine, the rapier engine, Let's, should we leave the fuel tanks on? Maybe we should leave those on. Ooh, the panther, that looks kind of fun. Uh, the aerospike, that'd be kind of dope. Here we go. Reactive alternate propellant intelligent engine for rockets is a joint venture between C7 Aerospace and the Rocka Max conglomerate, designed to fill a gap. All right. So, is this like Skylon? Is that what this guy is kind of trying to do? Anyone know about Skylon? All you, hey, everyone knows about Skylon. Um, okay. You're gonna need that oxidizer. That is for sure, dude. Okay, so we've got oxidizer. Um, and that is what we use in space. Does this have TVC? Uh... Do I need, yeah, okay, there it is. So now what I also need to do is find out, whoa, that's a ton of Delta V. That's plenty of Delta V, right? Uh, a little TVC, says Sean. Hmm, I need the definitive answer on the TVC. Barely, says Sean, no. Nose cone. Oh, a nose cone. That's right, too. I don't need the air breathing thing anymore. Do I need an air take at the front? An air intake? Um, or should I just use a nose cone? Under aerodynamics, I want like a pointy boy. You know? You know the type? Hmm. You need an air intake. Nose cone. Get the undermount. Ooh, the supersonic air intake. That's pretty dope. So do I do I need an air eight intake? Use a ram under the bottom. Shouldn't one point? <laughs> this is so confusing. Help me, chat. Help me do this. <laughs> it's also air breathing. It conserves fuel. So, okay, Wasabi Gaming typed no and then also yes. So. Overall, unhelpful. <laughs> Small nose cone. I wish this guy was bigger. I want the pointy boy. So, yes, says Thomas. No cone. 
The shot cone in tank could work as well. Well, I like, yeah, I like that. I think it's a cool idea. So we have 11, is this enough? This is enough Delta V, right? At the bottom, we have 11,000 meters per second. That's plenty of Delta V to get into carbon orbit. We have a nose cone. Stop telling me to get the nose cone. <clears throat> and uh, use the normal nose cone with the supersonic intake. No, no, no. You need an air intake to use the engine and air breathing mode. That's atmospheric Delta V, Joe. Hmm. Okay, so how do I find my Delta V in, okay. Hmm. How do I find my Delta V? This is complicated. I mean, I shouldn't, I should not be surprised. Okay, I can toggle modes apparently. How do I toggle the modes? Oh, here we go. Mm-hmm. Here we go. All right. Altitude, vacuum. Hold on, hold on, I'm gonna figure this out. Delta V, 11,000, vacuum. Um, hold on, gotta set an altitude. The Delta V icon. Yep, we're getting there. We're definitely getting there. So let's say I'm up at 50 kilometers where the pressure is much lower. Change the engine mode by right clicking it. Oh, here we go. Toggle mode. Oh, ooh, much more helpful. Okay. <coughs> Thank you so much, Jared. I'm sorry, I'm also getting over a cold, which is why I'm coughing a bunch. Um, so, toggle mode. How much... Okay, 3,000... 3,200 meters per second is a lot. Um, it's not enough to get you all the way to orbit, but that's okay, because we have a lot of stuff we can do within the atmosphere. I still... I have an air intake. It's at the front, right? Who's this boy? This is an air intake. It's a shock cone. In yeah, I'm... <laughs> I think Thomas is memeing on me. You won't get much further than 24 kilometers on air. So let's just go. Mm. Okay, got it. I think we should put another fuel tank there then. Um. Pro Lego one says, I have arrived. <laughs> uh, I'm so confused. There's so much conflicting advice. I can get to 29 kilometers on the air intake, which is great. I have no problem getting to 29 kilometers on the air intake. I think I need another fuel tank though. I don't think I have quite enough fuel. Um, does it count if I, as an SSTO if I do a half stage where I just like drop it off like an Atlas booster? <laughs> okay, how about this? This has a lot more. No? No. Wow, everyone says no. Oh, oh wait, this is no as, as to the SSTO. Okay, cool. <laughs> it, we have to do an SSTO. Fair enough. Um, what? Okay. Can someone besides Thomas tell me, is this going to be fine for my air intake? He says I need, to, I need more air intake, but I think this is okay. Is it not? Maybe it's because it's supersonic. I feel like that's okay. Add more, you need more air. Oh my gosh, all right, everyone says, one person says it's fine. All right, all right, all right, I'm sorry, Thomas. I'm sorry I doubted you. We will get, we will get the supersonic intake. <sighs> all right. Um, 
where's aerodynamics? There it is. Does it give you, okay, intake air two. Aha, it gives you the rating for how much intake. So should we get the little supersonic guy? How about this? I like the square intake. Okay, we can do the square one. I saw that one, that one looked good. That's this bad boy, right? That's close enough, that's a pretty big square. All right, are we feeling good about this? Is this better? We have two air intakes, that's a lot. And we have a decent chunk of fuel too. It's a lot of fuel. We have, we have really cut into our Delta V here. Oh, center it? It's centered, it's all right. Oh man, it is too long. Um, too long. Hmm, check the thrust of weight. I, you should probably put more engines. Okay, well let's just do wings and let's just see how we can how we can do here. Let's do one canard at the back. We're gonna get minimal control surfaces. And then we need to start to look at things like CM and uh, center of lift. I wanna do super, super swept wings. Maybe we can do canards. Uh, center of lift right behind center of mass, right? <laughs> oh, this is not gonna be good. It's not gonna go well. <laughs> Use the big boy wings, delta wing. Some wings hold liquid fuel, which is also good for an SSTO. You need the big ones. Okay, everyone says I need the big ones. Um, somewhere here. I can get the lift on these, but I think we just need different wings to, to begin with. Um, wing connector. Some wings will hold fuel, apparently. So if someone could tell me which wing holds fuel, I would love that. Okay, airplane main wing. Hey, here we go, internal volume for fuel tanks. Whoa, my goodness. Oh, that looks dope, that looks so cool. These are huge though, I do not need these wings. <laughs> the delta wing. <laughs> I'm not using these. Delta wing. So apparently this holds fuel? This doesn't seem to hold fuel. You can set the amount by right click. No, the delta wings don't hold fuel. Space plane wing. Ooh, hold on. Oh, big S delta wing. That's what it is. Okay, optional fuel tanks. That's it. This is it, fam. This is it. Hey, Chief? Chief? This is it, Chief. Bad meme. Two out of 10. Okay. So the Delta Wings. Oh, fill her up. Yes. Nice. This is great. We have lost a lot of Delta V though. <laughs> this is not gonna work. Um, I feel like we should start to fly things, though, because that's kind of what this is all about, right? Ooh, extra large landing gear. Can we just do this? <laughs> Would anyone mind if I just do this? I, I cannot stand. I cannot figure out how to do this. It's not that. 
There it is. Look at that. Let's do it. I just want to see it on the runway. You have to understand. I just want to see how it looks. Can we please try it? Can we please just try it? <laughs> I think I have it in rocket engine mode. There we go. That is what I wanted. Look at him go! Oh, he's doing so well. Oh no, I don't have control surfaces, do I? I will need a different mode. I don't think I'm gonna make it. It's still going. Nope, it's all done. All done. Well, okay then. Let's go back to the space plane hangar. I just, I had to know. I had to know, like, how it would look. I had to know how it would work. <laughs> we don't have to ever do that again. <laughs> I had to know. All right, let's just get some small landing gear. We don't need anything big. We're gonna go under here. Here comes the inevitable, there it is. Just like that, that's perfect. Nice and low to the ground. So we need control surfaces on this plane, do we not? Um, control surfaces. Uh, how about Elevons? Do we need a space plane one? Okay, big S Elevon. Like that. Elevon. What's the Elevon 2? Okay, this has lower mass. We don't need that much control authority, so we're just going to use these. These are our control surfaces. Let's just, let's just give it another shot. I don't think we have quite enough um, thrust. I think that is a problem. Oh... He's shaking. Are we okay? Are you good, buddy? Are we gonna be all right here or are we gonna have a problem? Because it kind of seems like we might have a problem. Well, let's give it a shot. Doing a little bounce, bounce maneuver here. Well, we don't need the runway. Runway is mostly optional. Okay. The wheels are too small, it seems like people are saying. So let's go back. Revert to the hangar. <laughs> he dancing. He Ted dancing, to be specific. Apparently these wheels are too small. Is that really what that means? Can everyone... Can I, can I just get a confirmation in the chat? Does, does the bouncing mean that the wheels are too small? I would just like to make sure... Okay, too small, bigger wheels, the smaller ones do not like the mass. So it's like a shock absorption thing then. Uh, LV-10, we'll do the medium landing gear. I, I, I viscerally hate that I have to add more mass now, but here we are. There. 
Oh dear, it wasn't in symmetry. Okay. We're just gonna we're just gonna um <laughs> We're just gonna try this. No more bounce. Throttle up. Can I get one more thing from the chat? When I take off, should I use the rocket engines? Because they have a ton of thrust, and I'm just worried we're not going to accelerate enough the, otherwise. Use the rocket engines. No, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, no. Okay, everyone says no. Toggle mode, air breathing. Great. Z, throttle up. Oof. I'm just worried. I'm just worried about the mass and the thrust to weight ratio. Maybe we'll be okay. You know what? Maybe we'll be okay. Oh, please, come on, just take off. I'm slowing down. Yes! Come on! Ah! The gear up. I had to put it, I had to put it into non-air breathing mode. I want to climb a little bit. I just want to climb a little bit and gain some speed. Okay. Now, there we go. Now we can, now we can be in air breathing mode. So we just need a little bit of help on liftoff. We're not gonna, we're, we're not, thank you for the S in the chat, by the way. All of you are OGs. Okay, so this is maybe not something that can like totally work. How, what is, what the hell, what the heck is going on? I think I need gear that can retract up here because this is pretty draggy. Okay. Nose down. Just for fun, this is not the space mission. We're gonna take a drink. Into the drink! This is not the space mission. You have to know, like, that was not, I'm not trying to go to space on this mission. I just wanted to see if it would take off. So I think bigger front gear, I think that is a necessity. No, 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 no Fs in the chat. I will not allow it. I will not allow the Fs in the chat. If you put an F in the chat, I'm, I'm gonna be upset. Okay. Landing gear, does it steer? Does it matter if it steers? Well, probably not. Is this okay? Maybe. These are backwards too, people were right. Um, more control surface, people say. Oh man, this is gonna be bad. Here it is, that's frontward. And I would also like to just go inward with it a little bit more too. 
Okay. There. That's prettier. So, people think more control surface, but I would rather have the minimal control surface possible. Shorten the body. Control canards. Oh, ooh, canards could be fun. Do we really think so? I just, like, I don't think we're going to make it to space on the current setup with how much mass this has. Okay. I'm going to save this. Folks, I'm out of wine. That's a problem. So we need to fix that problem, just like we fixed the landing gear problem and like we fixed all of these other problems. So I've saved. We're going to go to a quick intermission while I go to the bathroom and I get some more wine. Then we will come back and we're going to get this thing to space no matter how much it takes. So that's the plan. If you go away, honestly, if you go away, I just never want to hear from you again because I don't know how you could do something so heinous. So don't go away. And I will see you soon back on the Joey B Plays KSP live stream.
Okay, it me, your boy, Joey B. Dot com, dot gov, slash, Joey B. Welcome back. I have more wine now. I've gone to the bathroom, so we are all set. We're ready to go. Please clause up in the chat, everyone, for only losing like three viewers. Now, granted, we have 57, 58, so it's not a ton, but whoa, what is this? Kimball Goss, is that a shrimp? The shrimp is an innovation, Kimball. My goodness. Wow, the shrimp. I'm I'm just I'm just I'm blown away by the shrimp. Wow. I don't even know what to say. It's a prawn. Okay, it's a prawn. Alright, it's a prawn. Where's the lobster? <laughs> Parker, where are you at, dog? We need the lobster in here. There it is. There's a lobster. Thank you, Elan. Or or e Ian? Elan? Peckman? E Elan? Alan? I hope that's okay. I hope that's right. There's an octopus! Oh, general aerospace. Wow. And a squid? This is the best day of my whole life. You don't even know. Okay, we've got prawns, crabs, octopi, squids. There's a unicorn in there. There's a whale. <laughs> Whoa! There's a Oh, it's a scorpion, not a brown lobster. All right, <laughs> this stream, this stream <laughs> needs to get back on track which is we need to get this thing to space, okay? So we've got this space plane here. We have our gear set up. What do I need to add or change in order to get to space? Should I look at some numbers? I'm worried about the Delta V that we have on here, which is currently sitting at a pretty low 2241 meters per second. I just don't think that's gonna go so well. Joe, are you a little drunk? Well, I'm like a glass and a half of wine in, so yeah, I'm a lightweight. Um, <laughs> thicker, shorter, sharper body. Get rid of some fuel in the tank. What? Why? I Less fuel and oxidizer. Are you kidding me? Why? We want more. Don't, do we not? Maybe less fuel. Like, do we need as much fuel? I think we do. I think... Just get rid of oxidizer, trust me. Seriously? All right, there's a motorcycle out there. Um, no, if I get rid of the oxidizer, the, 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 uh, it goes down. You have too much fuel. Remove one fuel tank. All right. Let's try removing a fuel tank. Oops. Let's get rid of this. Here we go. That's a fuel tank. We can turn symmetry back on. Get these wings on here. There, how about that? Uh, where's my COM? There we go. And these, perfect. So I want them like right here. Yeah, like right behind it. Okay, that's better, except now we have lost Delta V. This is worse. This is objectively worse. I'm control Zing my way out of this. This is a better setup. We have more Delta V with this. All right, <coughs> we're just gonna try it. I think we should try it. So I'm going to save it, and then we will work on what problems come up in flight. All right. Here we go. Ah. Uh, you see, this is a problem. This right here is what I would call a problem. Let's go back and fix it. <laughs> Oops. I don't know how that happened. Can we get an F in the chat for the loss of one of our landing gear? <laughs> uh, all right. Symmetry back on. Just select and move it again. Great. Uh, and maybe go, ah! Why am I like this? 
Okay, still good. I just wanted to move this forward a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Save. Launch. <laughs> okay. Claws up, please, for the space plane. That is definitely going to work. Look, we already have a little AOA on, uh, on liftoff. This is great. I'm feeling good about it. Can I move it back? Is that a possibility? No, not really. Let's just go. Uh, mode. Air breathing. <sighs> Joe is definitely feeling a little tipsy. That is correct, Thomas. I don't like how much it, it keeps turning to one side. Ah, uh, what? Excuse me. That was not part of the plan. Make the authority limiter go to 150. How do I do that? Larger vertical stabilizer, you think? I can't, no, I cannot afford to have <laughs> lower friction on the front wheel, some people say. Friction control override and lower there. Let's try that. But this, this really is a balancing act. Ah, wrong mode. You will put more vertical stabilizer on later for re-entry. See, making a mess, you're assuming that I have plans to get this back down to the ground, when in reality, I haven't thought that far ahead yet. All right. I actually feel pretty good about this. We're not spending energy going to one or the other side. I'm going to let it just roll on the ground for a little bit. And here we go. Get off the ground. Ah! There we go. Okay. We're doing well. Boy, it really wants to lean forward. I don't think we put these far enough in front of the uh, the CM. And the CM's only going to move forward. Yeah, this is not an efficient design. We need to go back to the uh, space plane hangar. These need to go further forward. Oh dear, come on. What did I do? There. Yeah, like just behind. And honestly, like pretty much there. That might be a little bit too much, but we're gonna give it a shot. Save, launch. I'm not using canards, that's too much weight. Okay, so General Aerospace says, with SSTOs, you want to stay down low and pick up speed in the lower atmosphere and then pitch up aggressively when you go to space. That is if you plan to go there at least. I do plan to go there. So let's try that approach. We're gonna go to air breathing, SAS, throttle up, nope. Nope, not what I wanted. Revert to launch. I have to check everything. It's like such, I'm learning through trial and error that it really is about 
We're going to turn the friction control all the way down. <laughs> We're going to go to air breathing. There we go. Z. Okay. And we're gonna gain as much speed, like General Aerospace says, we're gonna gain as much speed as we can close to the ground, which I'm gonna consider between one and 10,000 meters, and then we're gonna just burn hard. That actually makes a lot of sense because this is such an efficient uh, engine on the ground. It's so low. We're not going to pitch up until I can really afford to, which last time I think I did too early. And there it is. That's gorgeous. Okay. Oh, and this is great, too. It's, it's holding attitude way cleaner now. Okay, I'm feeling good. Gaining speed around 1400. Okay, so we'll pitch up a little bit. We'll go a little bit higher. Get a little bit of vertical component here. That's probably enough pitch up. Maybe at like 15 degrees is fine. And now we're starting to gain speed. More speed. Losing speed now. Yep, no, we're gaining it. We're gaining it. This might be an exercise in patience. But I want to gain altitude and speed. We can gain speed faster at higher altitude, so I'm just trying to like trade it off. I would kind of like to be going a little, yeah, just at a little bit of a steeper angle. Okay, now we're climbing, we're still gaining speed. Duck down. Go down, why go down? All right, do we really need to go down? feeling pretty good about this. Gain all speed at sea level. No, don't go down. I let's just let's just go to like 10. How high should I get before I level off and then just burn hard? How high? pitched up too early before. Okay, 11? How high? Put it in the chat. How high should I go? 20k? 8,000? 10? 10? Now? 10? 10,000? Alright. Here we go. Oh! That's not the move I meant. Oh, man. I'm pitching up. Why am I like this? Okay. I have very little control authority. Oh, this is so bad. We're just gonna, we're just gonna let it be easy here. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna pick up some lift again, because we're gaining speed. Maybe we can even go down a little bit. I did not have enough control surface. All right. We lost efficiency on that. That was not good. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna slowly pitch back up. We're gonna gain just a little bit of altitude. One, two, 
on, stop going down. Oh, authority limiter, great. All right, we're gonna level off at 8,000 and we're just gonna hit it hard. Here we go. Right, level. And now we gain speed. That's the new goal, right? Okay, we're gaining speed. How fast do I go before I pitch up to go to space? 500 people say, but I'm kind of thinking I should go faster. In theory, you can reach 1200 easy. That's what Peter says, 1,500, 700. Boy, we're really starting to cruise now. 1,000, 1,400 if you push. Wow, we are screaming. Okay, not 1,400. 1,000, people say 1,000. Let's go to 100, 1,100, and then we'll start to pitch up. Okay, we're pitching up. We're doing it. Oh, this is awesome. This is so cool. All right, I get why people like the SSTO. I get it now. Oh. And we're losing authority from the engine. There it is. Oh, we are not gonna have enough Delta V. I think there's just no way. Maybe we will, but I don't think we will. Oh, man. Like, it might work, but I'm not really sure. I feel like we're at a good slope, too, between apoapsis and extending our arc, like our ballistic arc. Maybe this will work. Probably want to do a little bit more like that now. Okay, should I stop? Everyone says stop. Stop the burn. That was probably inefficient because I probably didn't need to go that high, but then we're going to go to a maneuver node, and all we got to do is burn just a little bit. Oh, I don't have solar panels. If I reorient, I'm going to use electric charge to do so. I have enough. It will be okay. Yep, it's fine. It's fine. I have enough to do so. 
Okay. Node in two minutes and a burn for 29 seconds. So we're going to burn. Wow, we can do this. This is amazing. Spin stabilization. <laughs> I love that JR craft. I don't think we need it for this. Boy, these boys still be pretty hot, huh? Um, all right. So we're going to start. We're just going to time warp a little bit until we're at T minus 15, or node, node N minus 15, I guess. Okay, here we go. And then we're gonna throttle up at N minus 15. And we're gonna circularize. We're gonna make it. I really didn't think we would. Wow. That's it. Do you hear the music? We made it to space. That's amazing. So that's, I did it, I did the SSTO. That's so cool. So I guess now the goal would be, can I get it back down without killing Jeb? And I think the answer is probably no, but I don't really know. Do you think I can? Like, do, do we think I can get it back down? Let's do a quick save. How do I quick save? It's like F5, right? Yeah, quick saving. Okay, that's a quick save. The wine's gone. Joey B be in it now. All right, so let's time warp a little bit. And let's look at this. Look, it's a plane. <laughs> this is the name of my mission. Oops, space. So I think we'll, we'll like very vaguely try to land it at Kerbal, Ker uh, okay, hold on. How do I do this? I'll burn just a little fuel retro. <sighs> um, go in slow. Yeah, like go in really, really shallow, right? And where should I try to go in? Maybe like here, honestly. Let's do a maneuver node here and see just how shallow I can get it. Oops, that's the wrong way. Yeah, so see, this is what I want. With a periapsis at like 29, or even better, we could go to like, okay. A periapsis at 7,000, that's gonna make for a really, shallow descent. Oh no, sorry, uh, too low. Okay, too low, says Brayden. Oh, I'm adjusting the wrong one, hold on. Let's try this again. Maybe we start here, add maneuver, down. What about a periapsis of 38? What should my periapsis be? just to target a decent like re-entry angle. 38, 57 is too much. 33, maybe like 20? 22, 35, try 50, 35, 35. No. Okay, Wasabi Gaming, if you keep saying no. 35, says, say people. All right. We'll go to 34. <clears throat> All right. Let's try this. We only have to burn for four seconds. The music is a little bit loud. It's a little bit much, folks. We're nearly at our maneuver node. So actually, even though we didn't bring batteries, I wish I could move my resources. Can I pop out? Oh, I guess I can just do this.
Hold on, where's the craft? Uh, how do I pop it out? There. Just so people can see like what is going on with the electric charge. That's all I wanted. So we are reorienting. We're going to reorient to the maneuver node. You'll see the electric charge drain, but we do have enough. We didn't plan very well, but it will be okay. And we're burning retrograde. Is this correct? Where's Kerbin? Oh, this is so hard to see. I, I, I like can't tell what's going on. Okay, so that's the front. Are we really gonna burn retro? Okay, well, it says where to burn, so I'll just obey that. We're gonna burn for four seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Here, This is going to help me understand. Oh, yeah, this is totally retrograde. All right, this is a gorgeous view. All right, I'm feeling good about this. I'm feeling very good. T minus one minute. Let's speed it up just a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. 30, 20, 15. So because it's a node for four seconds, we're gonna burn at two seconds, right folks? Three, two. There. <laughs> just needed that little extra, extra bit. And now, we do this, come on. Oh, control locked, hold on. Yeah, okay, so we're at 34 slash 35. Yeah, burn two seconds before the node because you kind of want to split like the node in half so that your burn time lands on the center. Um, all right, I'm feeling okay. Not feeling great, but I'm feeling okay. Here we go, folks. We're gonna reorient to prograde. We're gonna use up a lot of electric charge with this maneuver here. We're gonna come in prograde. Okay. Flat to the airstream, so that we don't have too much resistance on the craft. This is gorgeous. Okay, we have very little electric charge left. I'm turning SAS off. Is that a bad idea? Maybe. I'm so nervous. <laughs> okay. Let's time warp a little bit. We're going prograde. That's what I want. Nine thousand ninety eighty seventy. Okay. We're coming back down, folks. I am really running out of electric charge. I did not plan this well. I don't think we really need it from now on. We're about to get down back into the atmosphere. I am, however, worried. I'm also going to turn this back to air breathing. <clears throat> because at some point... Oh, here we go, F5. 
Excellent. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> okay. Oh, oops, sorry. I won't go faster than 2x. 63. We are nice and shallow here, folks. And soon, we should start to see how we're doing here. Pitch up or you will burn up, people say. Is that true? No pitch. Do I pitch up or not? Yes or no? Pitch up. Pitch up, yes, or pitch up, no. Very quickly, I'm gonna. Ha I'm at a decision point here, folks. Yes. Okay. Yes. Pitch up. Also, what the heck with this orientation? How do I? How do I roll the view? Hold on. How do I roll my, oh, V, that's right. There we go, locked. Okay, pitch up. But pitch up is gonna bring me back out of the atmosphere. I'm gonna run out of electric charge. It's just going to happen. I'm turning SAS off. Stop. What do you mean use your engines? I'm not, I can't use my engines. Okay. One, two. See, I'm worried about this. I am decelerating, but I want to get I want to get further down in the atmosphere. Oh, turn off reaction wheels to save charge. That's a good that's a good idea. Pilot only? Can I just turn them off? How do I turn off uh, reaction wheels? Toggle torque there. Disabled. Thank you, everyone. We're going to make it home. Boy, I'm not going that fast, though. Like, I feel like this might be okay. I'm heating up a lot, though. So maybe we'll come back up again. Five eight, five seven. You're overshooting. I don't care if I'm overshooting. It's just about not dying. That's the main goal here. Oh, oh no. Okay, too much. We need to go back down. We need to come down lower. We're going down. You're right. Nope, you were right. But actually, here's the other thing too, is I don't mind. If my apoapsis is 47, I'm never coming out back into space again. Like it, it just won't happen. So I'll be okay. I am way overshooting though. That is true.
All right, it's working. Um, why is your camera in follow not auto? Because all auto does this, that's why. Maybe free is the right one, I'll just do free. Okay, we're dropping with a reasonable amount of heat. Boy, I wish it was day. Hey, does anyone know how I can make it day <clears throat> without actually changing things? Can I cheat and make it day? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I don't have SAS on because I need to save electric charge. <laughs> Just wait 24 hours. You can change settings to make it brighter. Okay. Um, UI, shadow, ambient light boost. Oh, that's way helpful. Look, there, we'll make it just slightly dark. That's great, that's all I wanted. Okay, accept. I just wanted to be able to see. Wow, that's so much better. I don't know why I haven't done that before. I am taking it extreme, oh my gosh. Okay, we're getting into a PIO here, which is a pilot induced oscillation. So I just want to be careful. I have some side slip. I've yawed just a little bit, but it is naturally damping out. I'm coming back out of the atmosphere, which I don't like. Just to... Oh, this is so bad. Okay. I am really not looking forward to whatever is going on right now. Tumbling is fine. Yeah, I guess, so I just lost control authority. Because we're back in space again. I can't use SAS because I have no electric power. I'll move this down a little bit further so people can see it better. We're definitely bleeding off velocity. That's definitely happening. There's, there's no doubt about that. Uh, I just wish that we weren't doing this right now, you know? <laughs> Maybe it's time for more wine. Is it time for more wine, everyone? I don't know if that's a good idea. Okay, we're coming back down. We're coming back down. It's not time for more wine. Here we go. We need to get into a passive stable configuration. I am going to... I am going to be in trouble here. Okay, stop the roll. There we go. Stop the roll. Oh my gosh. It's so hard to have any type of control authority here. Okay, even if we're upside down, that's okay. We just need to... Okay, yes, water does sound good, but I can't leave my computer right now. Here, I have a glass of water over here. Okay, it's water time. We're coming back home. I need all the water right now. Here we go. I'm gonna F5 here. I feel like we're there's still there is still a chance that we can recover from this. It is naturally stable, especially because we burned all of our fuel. It's just like, I am worried that we're not gonna reach a stable configuration until it is too late. Okay, here we go. 
Ah! Okay. I don't think we're heating up past any, like... Ah, sorry, I leaned into that roll. That might have been a mistake. Okay, here we go, here we go. We're getting control back. I have control. Okay, we're back, we're back. There's a lot of control authority though, there's too much. And just dial it back. Let's just, let's just roll around. Okay, stop, stop the roll. And let's turn engines back on. Pull up. Boop, boop, boop. Pull up. Boop, boop, boop. Pull up. Boop, boop, boop. So bad. Ugh. I need more control authority. Okay, there we go. There we go. Just. I need all the control authority. The problem is these actuators are so slow. This is so hard. Okay, easy. There we go. Okay, okay, all right, all right, too much. All right. Too much roll, too much roll. This is so bad, I'm not gonna make it out of this. I can't get control. I think I need SAS back on. It just might like, I don't have it on right now and it's, that's a big deal that's hurting me. Let's just get it on. Yep, there it is, that's better. Ah, it's too much, too much control, too much control. There we go. 90. I'm not ejecting. We can make it back to land. I do want to make it brighter, though. Because I'm loving this ambient light boost. All right, where do I go? Over here? Over here? Where do I go? Let's look at the map. I can't see anything. <laughs> Left or right? 
click the blue button by the altimeter. Oh, that's a good idea. Thank you. To the right. Everyone says right. Okay. Why is the cockpit still overheating? That is a great question, Jeffrey. It's a great question. <clears throat> Do you think I could make it back to the Kerbal Space Center? I don't think so. That's probably too far away, right? Can I make it back to KSC? No, people say no. Stop accelerating, okay, I will. No. No, don't do it. Okay, everyone says no. I think we are going to have to fly for a while to find an appropriate grassy plain. I just don't think any of these are quite good enough. Just land? Land right there or you'll never make it. I probably could have, couldn't I? Uh-oh. I'm not gonna EVA, I have to land it. Okay, I definitely could have landed there. Let's pull up a little bit. We, we have plenty of fuel, here's the thing. We have plenty of fuel. I am dedicated to getting this craft on the ground without trouble at whatever cost and that cost may involve time oh here we go okay so right where what i am heading for right now looks really nice like over here i think this looks good so we're just gonna head for that Nope, we have landing gear. We do have landing gear. I can put it out, I just don't want to use it yet. I want to fly directly in that direction. We're gonna yaw just a little bit. Yeah, there we go. We have plenty of fuel for this. I know I know people want me to land, but I'm not going to do it until I definitely can. And right around here, we start to see it. So let's just cut the throttle. I, I kind of want to get over this hill, though. Oh, that is kind of part of it. Okay, I should just cut throttle, right? F5, cut throttle. Or let's... Oh. Okay, I think I'm going too fast. I think we're just gonna land wherever I land. I think that's the new name of the game. Air breaks out, which is the landing gear. What's a good landing speed, folks? Oh, 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 don't do that, don't do that. Easy, there, Joey B. Yeah, there it is. This is a good landing speed. I'm feeling very confident. I've got SAS turned off. No, I've got it turned back on now. It's gonna be okay. The land is just not ripe for a runway right now. Oh, B, brakes. Oh! Brakes! Brakes! <gasps> Does that count? Oh, brakes. Brakes. Does that count? I think that counts. We only lost the engine. I think this counts, folks. I'm like 90% sure that this counts. 
If I let go of the brakes, we start to roll. Should I just let it roll? Let's let's F5 and let it roll. Oh, nope, nope. Brakes. We're going to brakes and then F5. It's moving. Oh, wait, F5. Okay, we have quick saved, and now I'm just going to let it roll and go wherever it would like. It is slowly moving. <coughs> just click the brakes thing. There, there we go. Brakes are on. Wait, maybe they're off. Okay, now brakes are on. There we go. So we did it, folks. We did it. We did the SSTO, and we got it back. I did not expect to get it back. EVA and plant a flag. This is correct. Here we go. EVA. We have to plant a flag here. This is where... Oh, the gravity is not the same as I was hoping. Turn the lights on. Oh, I can't turn the lights on because there's no one in there. Okay, well, whatever. I just wanted to turn these guys on. Anyway. Oh, our plane is moving. We should get out of the way. <laughs> let's, let's get out of the way of the plane. And let it just do its little rolly thing. And here we go. Plant a flag. What happened to the BPS? Ah, oh, what happened to the BPS flag? <laughs> That's a bummer. First SSTO and return. Can't believe it worked. Can't believe here. Super, super can't believe we got it back. <laughs> Let me get a crab emoji and uh, toss it in there. Oh, it won't work. Okay, well, the, I'll know that that's a crap. <laughs> um, let's take a surface sample. Looks like dirt. I'm going to save that. Should we do... Let's do an EVA report. Okay, I don't think the spacesuit was necessary. We'll remove the helmet. <laughs> I'm taking a screenshot of this. Here we go. We did it. We did the SSTO. I'm so excited. <laughs> and mostly what I'm excited about is that the plane continues to move. And I think we continue to move too. Jeb is moving. The flag is not. But Jeb and the plane are both moving. I don't think we're on warp time. Oh, warp time? Oh, okay, cool. Warp time, and then when we're not on warp time, we move. I kind of like the idea that it moves, though. Okay, well, let's do a little Q&A or something like that. I'm still, I'm still down to hang out for a few minutes, and I don't know. Let's talk a little bit about what's coming up for BPS with, uh, <laughs> with our boy Jeb here. Um... Go to bed. It's only 9.28. I'm an engineer. 9.28 is way before my bedtime. Um, so, <laughs> BPS SSTON. Uh, yeah, so what's coming up? We've got... I'm, I'm maybe thinking of doing a landing test tomorrow. It's very tentative, though. In all likelihood, we won't do it tomorrow, but we will see. We'll see. No promises. Um, when is the next landing model rockets video? I would say probably more than two weeks from now because um, the next two weeks I'm dedicating to getting two big things out of the way, which is definitely a landing test 
definitely the Falcon Heavy. The Falcon Heavy has to happen. Hold on, let me get it. It has to happen. It has been way, way, way too long since this has actually happened. Um, okay, hold on. Ugh. It has been way too long since this has happened, and it's time for us to actually launch this thing again. And if you just, if you don't know how big it is, like, it's huge. This is it on the floor. And it's it's about as tall as me. It's a little it's a little shorter than me. So this has to happen. The Falcon Heavy is happening probably next week because I keep saying it will, and I need to actually live up to that. Um, landing test is happening maybe this week. We've got um, <laughs> I spec'd out parts for another new project today which is why I have to do some of these older projects. <laughs> we have to like finish some of this stuff. So I have to land it um, because the new project is a lander, um, which is powered by an EDF and maybe an afterburner uh, with like one or two minute flight times. It's gonna be crazy. So uh, anyway, yeah. And uh, if you are interested in <laughs> learning more about that, I'm dropping a lot of hints in the Discord. So you, that's uh, any of you who are in the Discord can check it out it's part of the bps patreon okay anyway what what else is going on um operation thump we need to build the vehicle for that so that's it's it's going to be a really simple rocket it's going to be like a dead simple um like a dead simple tbc rocket it, it, it's basically like me just building the signal kit super easy um the reaction control system i think coming up we need to actually characterize the thrusters, who excuse me, we need to characterize the thrusters because I am redesigning the ports to actually get supersonic flow through the um, nozzle. And right now we have what is essentially no nozzle. So it should be a lot better. We have, um, I, I'm doing a lot of work with stuff like this, control system design. I have like four more textbooks on the way in the mail because I am doing full state space control. And what that looks like is let me just find a good page to exemplify what this reading looks like um this is what it looks like it's like it's all math it is the math ma mathematically correct way to design launch vehicles and look this says uh aerodynamic parameters for afti 16 on landing approach so there's stuff like this i also got books from my dad um, on actual flight vehicle guidance. I don't want to show the title of this book because it's kind of, it's racy. Oh, well, it, it's going to show up anyway. Uh, this is a book called, <laughs> don't read into this, okay? Don't read into it. It's called Tactical and Strategic Missile Guidance, and it's about rocket guidance, basically. Uh, in the case of missiles, um, but this has been a really helpful book, too, that I'm working through. And it's basically like, I am trying to go through the full right way of doing this. Right now, the MATLAB simulation stuff that I have is still very crude. And what I'd like to do is develop a full linear and nonlinear plant model and mathematical model for how these vehicles fly. And the lander vehicle, which is powered by an EDF, is going to be the test for that. If you're curious about what I'm sort of modeling this stuff after, you can look up... Um, Armadillo Aerospace or Maston Space Systems. And so they're two vehicles, or they all have lots of vehicles, but th those two companies, especially lots of the vintage videos from them, um, that's kind of what it is. Okay, let's talk about questions. Um, a bunch of people submitted questions. Let's, let's get a little, uh, let's try to answer some of those. I'm gonna scroll back a little bit. Keep submitting questions if you have them though. I'm happy to spend time on it. Um, would you make an SLS model that flies? Probably not. Maybe though. Um, uh, when's, okay, yeah. Is the landing test going to be streamed? It is not going to be streamed because um, the person who usually helps out with streams is out of town. And also I just don't want to stream the landing test because they are less 
I'm less good at those than I am at the launches. So the, the reason that I actually feel comfortable doing the launches right now is that I have such, I've done so many of them. I think I'm past 60 um, trips out to the launch site at this point, just, just since the program has started. Um, 60 trips out to the launch site to launch a rocket and only like, what is it now? Four, no, it's not four because I actually have done more as I talked about in one of the videos, but it's got to be under 10 landing tests. So I just don't know it as well. Um, and I want to focus on the actual work rather than streaming it. Uh, when is the next KSP live stream? I don't know, maybe later this week. I kind of want to double down a little bit. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Any thoughts on becoming a Discord mod? Thomas, I think I already mentioned it in the in the DMs. Um, have you seen my channel, ARRO, Astronomical Research and Rocketry Organization? It's my main channel. I got inspired by you, so I'm making a custom launchpad. I think I have general aerospace. I, I can't actually remember off the top of my head, but I, it feels familiar to me. So I think so. And awesome that you're making a custom launchpad. Um, how tall am I? 5'11". Uh, let's see. Is the landing test or the Falcon Heavy launch going to be streamed? Um, I think you may have asked this before, but I also didn't answer it for a while. The Falcon Heavy launch and the landing test will both not be streamed because I want to focus on getting just good quality video for post-flight analysis. Um, stuff like these scout flights with the H-13, those are very low risk flights. Although as we've seen, I've just gotten very unlucky with them. Um, so, okay. Uh, let's see, thoughts on the Orion abort test? I cannot believe they didn't put parachutes on it. it. It's so bad. It's not even bad for like the recovery of hardware. It's bad for PR. Like, I don't know. It's so, it's very frustrating. Um, it wouldn't cost, like there are, there are, you could just buy a military parachute package. Like there are lots of companies. Okay. Um, uh, let me scroll down just a little bit. Uh, who do I follow on YouTube? I love Tom Stanton. I love Tom Scott. I love Smarter Every Day. I love Ferritasium, all of the all of those educational channels, CGP Grey. Um, I love real engineering. I love practical engineering. Um, three blue three blue, one brown has been really helpful with a lot of the recent math stuff. Um, boy, if you've ever been scared by math, you need to go to his channel. Three blue, one brown. It's like Everything about math that you found scary, you can no longer find scary because of, of how good of a teacher he is. Um, I, there's a bunch of other people too. Uh, are you, uh, of course, everyday astronaut Scott Manley, like the whole space crew via uh, Amy Vintage Space, Amy Shira title Vintage Space. Um, are you still planning on presenting your work at an aerospace company to try to work with them? Um, or will you keep going on my own? I mean, never say never, but I really like where I am right now. Um, I really like where I am right now. And I think if the BPS stuff slows down in a few years or if something changes, maybe I'll, I'll look for a more stable job at some type of aerospace company. But um, right now, I, I love what I do. It's like a dream job, so I'm not gonna mess with that for now. Um, have I seen Matt Lown? Yeah, Matt Lown, Lown, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but yes, I have. Um, I also like Marcus House. Um, okay, let's see, what else? Why did you stop using drag fins after Relay? Wanted help on Descent. Uh, Yukon, if you look at Relay F2, you will see why I don't use drag fins. You need a restoring force, um, because if you don't have a restoring force, you'll get a constant oscillation. Um, so <clears throat> if you think about how a vehicle comes down falling, hmm, I'll just, I'll use Echo as an example. So, uh, if you think about Echo falling down, it doesn't have the fins on it right now. Let's say the legs are out, but let's say the legs were folded in. If you had four drag fins up top, and drag fins in this case, we're just going to assume are uh, flat fins that don't have any um, like vertical component to them when they're extended. So they flip out and they're basically, you can think of them as like 
sheets of cardboard or sheets of metal or something like that. As you are falling, this induces a bunch of drag. And what you might think is great, well, the vehicle is going to be extremely stable when it's upright. And that is true, except what happens when it is less than upright? Is there more or less drag at the top of the vehicle when it is less upright? Give it some thought for a sec. The answer is less, because you no longer have the surface area opposing the free flow airstream as the vehicle is falling down. You have less surface area um, that's actually causing drag at the top of the vehicle. So the vehicle has no, or at least very little incentive based on those drag fins to come back to upright. And when it does come back to upright, it has all of this drag and it just, it's never, it's just going to oscillate a bunch. So you want, I don't have them in here. <laughs> You want the fins there because the fins, when the vehicle starts to tilt to the side, there's a restoring force. This, these fins, as the vehicle tilts over, it's a natural um, compensator for the, for the stability of the vehicle. So the, it tilts over, you increase your, um, well, there's very little drag on them anyway, too. And so your aerodynamic models get more accurate. Like it's, it's um, all around a good thing to not use those drag fins. Um, and then the same thing with like grid fins, there's just, there's like no control authority on grid fins at this scale. Um, so you, the planar fins are really the way to go. Um, okay, <laughs> I'm getting out of breath. I'm so passionate about the drag pin things. Do you have a list of books about rockets that you use? Jeff, says Jeffrey Lind. Jeffrey, if you go to the video called BPS.Space Update from the National Rocketry Conference this year for 2019, you will find in the description two books that I really liked when I was getting started, and I still like. Um, one of them is Rocket Propulsion Elements, and one of them is Structures by J.E. Gordon. Structures is great for mechanical engineering and just understanding elasticity, um, like, like following a force through a material or following a force through a complex object. Um, tensile strength, all of the stuff that you want to know for mechanical engineering. It's a, it's a great starter book. And then Rocket Propulsion Elements does exactly what you would think, which is teach you about liquid rocket engines, solid rocket engines, all of that stuff. Uh, planning on any YouTube collabs in the future? Yeah, once I land it, once I land the Echo Rocket, I will feel, more, I will feel comfortable enough actually going out and talking <laughs> to other people's audiences and saying like, look, I do know what I'm doing. Um, and that's when I can start doing more collabs. Um, had a few offers and just turned them down, at least for now. Not because I'm like too good or anything, just because like I want, I want to um, look like I really know what I'm doing before I go and uh, seek any collaborations. Okay, um, let's see. Let's do a couple more questions. I kind of like this. You should build a rover, one. I would love to. Thanks, Walt. Um, come to Georgia because the dirt is red here. <laughs> that's, that's another reason for the rover. Three, launch and land it. Well, I may have to take you up on that at some point, but probably not this summer. I have taken on so many more projects than I thought I would. Um, is the next landing model rockets video the software one? Trav, yes and no. It is a software one, but there are probably going to be like 10 to 20. I don't know how many videos there will be on software. So software is by far the most complicated part of this whole thing, and so it's going to take a while for us to get that all done. Um, software is where the whole devil lies. Um, any news on your space shot attempt, Joe? I probably won't do it uh, next year. It's, I think, I think space shots are so 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 hard and so expensive. Um, you need. I don't know if you can do it for less than fifty thousand dollars, and that's not an amount of money that. I am able to or willing to put down right now. Um, okay, how is Thump going? Thump is just in the same state that it has been so far. Um, boy, I just, I wish like, I wish I had like 20 hands and like three brains and like seven feet and was five times my current size, so I could do a billion things at once. That, that's how Thump is going. There are so many projects that need attention, or that need just a little bit of attention, and it's, it's so hard to just focus on one at a time. 
I need to stop taking on new ones. <laughs> okay, uh, let's do just a couple more questions here. I'm surprised so many people are sticking around for this. Um, so, would it be easier to land a rocket if you, can control the, if you could control the throttle intensity, or is it such a short time event that it wouldn't really matter? Mr. Pabga, Pabgon, thanks for the question. At the current scale of the Echo Vehicle, I believe it is easier. Um, I believe... Thomas, if you just resubmit your message, I can reread it. Um, I believe it is easier to, at the Echo scale, not throttle because of how much is changing and how quickly it is changing. I don't know. I am I, probably wrong about that. There's just so much happening at such a fast time scale. I mean, all of these things, maybe I can just bring them up. Should we watch some landing footage? Um, I still have the Premiere project open for, oh no, wait, hold on, it's, it's quitting. <clears throat> we could just watch some landing footage. Let's do that. Um, here, hold on. Let me, uh, let me bring it up. One minute here. Oh, and I'm gonna have to. Okay, all one, and let's just change the KSP window to QuickTime. There we go. Okay. This is really cool. Actually, this maybe I'll do like footage reviews on this channel or something before I put publish videos. That would be a cool idea. So this is a, a video I made called All Cut One, which is basically all of the landing footage from the last test. Um, yeah. So I believe this is at 40% speed. This is the last test. So most of you have probably seen this. So that doesn't look too bad. Like if you had, um, I mean, computers are really fast. <laughs> that, you know, computers are pretty fast. So if you had a little bit of control, it, it could work. This is the side angle or one of them at least. This is the one where you see the horizontal control working. There's just no movement at the end, but this is real time. And it's, it's very, it's just very fast. You can see it screaming down there at, at the start of this clip. Let's watch it one more time. It just is like, it's just very fast. So I don't know that throttle control would really help that much. Um, not, well, rather, with the accuracy of these MEM sensors, it's hard to articulate what I mean, sorry. <laughs> this is another angle. I didn't show this in the video because the quality is so low, but it's basically the same thing. It's the same story. This is the, uh, the UAV footage, and that's at 40% uh, speed. And super, super cropped. So shot in 4K and then and then cropped down to 720 or something. And you can't see it too well, but you can kind of see it translate at the end there. And that's the vehicle landing. Oh, you can't see my mouse, can you? Well, whatever. Uh, let's give it a sec here. Here's, the, here's one of the onboards at, uh, I believe, 40% speed. surprisingly quiet up at the top of the vehicle and you can hear it get louder when you get to the ground because these audio the reflections come off the ground and then it's much louder with the camera down at the bottom of the vehicle there we go legs out oh you can see some gimbal movement there the gimbal is still active on touchdown. That's one of the things that um, I really need to, it's not, it's not, it doesn't need to be like <clears throat> fixed in the flight software or like fixed per se, but it's one of these things that um, is like, it's, if I were gonna give out the landing code or something like that, like I, it, especially like, okay, so like in the blip code, we would, we would fix this, but the gimbal is still active after burnout. 
so that it's still gimbling the motor here and you can see it move from right to left right when it right at touch down there there we go yeah anyway that's the uh that's one of the landing cuts um let me see if i have any more here on board um vacuum <laughs> Would you all like to see the, uh, the the BPS vacuum? You guys, I'm developing a vacuum. If anyone is interested, I, I would love to show the, uh, the vacuum. Hold on. I would just, it would, it would be so, I would be so happy to, to share with you the vacuum that I'm building. Okay, hold on. This is ridiculous. Um, hold on one second. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm working on a vacuum. And here it is. It's called the EchoVac. <laughs> so it, it takes these toxins out of the atmosphere as it actually ascends. It's pretty cool how it works. And, uh... Yeah, it's just great. And then it uses all those toxins as propellant to actually go up to space. We can watch it one more time just to see. Um, but yeah, no, it, it see all these toxins in the air here. It sucks them out and uses them to actually propel itself upward. It's called uh, the BPS EchoVac. And uh, we're really excited. Coming, uh, coming Q4 of, of 2019. Anyway... <laughs> Oh man, I wish I could like get over this cold completely. But all right, that has to be it for now. I think. Let me let me look at like one or two more questions. Uh, this is too much fun. Joe, where do you get your rocket engines? I buy some of them from Apogee. I buy some of them from Aerotech Direct. I buy some of them from other places. Uh, so uh, all over the place. Um, why don't you Why don't you add a release mech on the drone instead of using Pyro on Echo? Won't the extra Pyro be useful? Not really. Um, you know what's really cool? I use one pyro for the legs and the landing burn. It's the same pyro channel for the legs and the landing burn. The landing burn happens with a 10 millisecond pulse of the pyro charge, and the legs happen with a full one second pulse um, to actually heat up that nichrome wire. It's pretty cool. Um, so, okay, what else? Uh... Me and Xander were talking about this the other day. We were talking about a BPS community project, like a HAB or CubeSet that everyone could contribute on. What are your thoughts on this? I think that's super cool, but I also am in no place to manage that type of project. I am way overbooked as it is. But if you guys want to, if you want to coordinate that in the Discord, you're welcome to do it. I think it would be really cool. Um, uh, Joe, do you keep your used engines as a look back? Yes, I do. I have. Uh, not all of the used engines, but I have a lot of them to help uh, as reference. Besides rocket epoxy, um, what is the best epoxy for your rockets, in your opinion? I'm having trouble with fins falling off, and I need help. I need help. I use Gorilla Glue, uh, two-part epoxy. Um, not not traditional Gorilla Glue, Gorilla Glue, but um, Gorilla Glue brand two-part epoxy. I really like that. You should start a merch store on the website, says Jeffrey. Jeffrey, that is a great idea. And here's a little bit of a secret that only people who, if they have made it to the end of this video, will find out. So if you've made it to the end, claws up. Here's the secret. I have hired a graphic designer recently, and we are doing a full BPS rebrand. I don't know the timeline on it yet. It might be a month, it might be longer, it might be shorter. We're doing a full rebrand. And then when that rebrand happens, we're going to push it out with merch and with all the stuff that you usually see with a brand. Um, so that's, that's what's coming. Um, okay, and anyway, I think, I think that's all for now. So <laughs> thank you, everyone, for joining. This is a long stream. It uh, looks like two hours and 21 minutes or so. Um, yeah. So... Yeah, thanks a bunch for joining. I really appreciate people tuning into this stuff. I know it's ridiculous, but I have a lot of fun. I also can't believe that we got the SSTO to orbit and got it back. So I'm feeling great. I'm going to probably go to bed pretty soon. But have a good night, everyone. Thanks again for joining. 
make your wait no i can't i can't do it this is not the bps channel what do i do as a um outro for the joe barnard channel may your crabs be underwater and your may your crabs be underwater I need help. I need a, no, no. I need a sign off. I need like a solid sign off. What do I do? Claws down. All right, Yukon got it. Claws down, everyone. And your jobs be alive. All right. No, I like claws up better. All right. Thanks for joining, everyone. Claws up.